Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Carolina Pro Football Report on ADSN and 7.30, the game. I'm Kevin Tolbert here in Spartanburg, South Carolina for the 2023 Carolina Panthers training camp, and today was the team's first day in pads. Now, most expected that it was going to be a thundering day of, of knocking around with the pads on, uh, but that didn't quite happen. It seemed to be a lot more measured of a practice, uh, and Frank Wright talked about that. Um, there are definitely guidelines, like for instance, um, you know, we're going to thud it off in the hole where it's necessary, like in between the tackles, but out in space, you know, we're going to be smart. And so really we're looking for a lot of that physical work which you see like when the O-liner and D-line are together kind of in pods and one-on-ones and, um, and, and, th and that, things like that. And when we get into team run periods, up front, it's pretty physical. But as far as tackling to the ground and stuff like that, we will have some live periods. Um, there will be more live periods with the latter groups and not as much the first group, but still feel like we can get good physical work. Now, with regard to keeping people safe, one of the folks that they want to make sure they're keeping safe out there this year is quarterback Bryce Young. Now, today in the uh, team series, uh, Bryce went six for six in the first series, then followed that with a second series of three for four, and then followed that up with his uh, the third series. He was three for three. So looking good out there today, connecting with his receivers and a lot of the options that they've selected for him spreading the ball out all over the field, and the offense seemed to be gelling quite well this year. Now, with regard to the personnel to keep Bryce safe when he's on the field, one of those guys is Iki Ikwanu, Ikim Ikwanu, who is the left tackle for the team. Um, he spoke about the relationship with he and Bryce and how all that is starting to mesh together. Bryce has been great, you know, obviously you see the arm talent, you know, you see the, the accuracy and the decision making, but I feel like some of the intangibles like his leadership have really, you know, come to show out in this camp a little bit, you know. We got flashes of that during OTAs, but, you know, really being able to refocus guys, you know, really being able to just, you know, lead guys in the right direction, I think is definitely a tribute that Bryce has. Now, they did have one Panther that suffered uh, an injury today. Uh, C.J. Henderson went down with a groin injury. There wasn't much information uh, beyond that. Frank Wright addressed the media about it, and we hope to have more updates on that tomorrow. Now, with regard to roster moves, they brought in another quarterback this week, but this morning uh, the news was released that they have waived defensive tackle Bravion Roy, and that they have replaced him with LeBron Ray. He'll wear number 67. He was out on the field today uh, getting his reps in, so look forward to seeing how that works out in the new 3-4 scheme. So that wraps up your Carolina Pro Football Report on ADSN and 7.30 The Game from Spartanburg, South Carolina, here at the 2023 Carolina Panthers training camp.